Now, uh, first time we ever we spoke, well, not the first time, but a couple years back, you know, you had the birth of your uh, your first child, your daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, how were you balancing, you know, boxing, and now you about to be stepping up to the highest level, boxing with being a dad? I feel like that shit is easy. Like for me, it's easy. I don't, I don't think it's really a challenge. Like when I'm not in camp, I spend time with my daughter. I get her. Whenever I can, like I'm always with her, so I'm not really missing no time with my daughter other than other than when I'm in camp, when I go away and shit like that. But she come to my fights and shit, like I make sure her mom bring her to my fights. So she always there, like. Yeah, that doesn't like. She, she likes watching the fights. Hell yeah. <laughs> she be she be like like the last fight she was outside the ring. Like she be mad when I be in the ring. Like she, when she can't get in the ring with me, even when I'm when I bring her to the gym and I'm sparring, she be going off like she don't. She don't like when she not next to me, you know what I'm saying? But she like when I fight, like, every time she come over to the house, she point to the TV, like, that, that fight, and I put the fights on, she get all hype and stuff like that, so. Yeah. She always wanna put the gloves on, she always, ish, 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 like, she know the sounds and all that shit. She, she a character. You gonna teach her how to fight? I'll teach her, yeah, I'll teach her. I wouldn't, like, put her in competition, though. Like, yeah, you wouldn't let her box box? Nah, I mean, if she, if she get old enough to the point where she like, I can't tell her what to do, then obviously she gonna do what she gonna do, but like, I wouldn't want her about this. Is that the motivation? Is like, is that what drives you? My daughter? Yeah. Hell yeah. A lot more too, you know? I've been boxing since I was a kid. I always wanted to be like, uh, wealthy, um, a little bit of fame, but I wanted to be famous like when I was younger, but now it's just like, I don't really care for that shit, bro. I just want the money. I'm saying I want to take care of my family, change my life, um, be able to travel wherever I want, be in the big houses, nice cars, and all that shit. So that's what I really want. I don't really care for the fame and all that shit now, cause I know what comes with it now. Like I'm, I'm kind of into it. I know when there's a lot of eyes on you, people who's gonna have something to say. So I don't really care for the fame. All this shit fake. So I just, I know it's gonna come with it when I win these fights and all this other shit, but. Saying, I don't really care about that shit. You feel like they build you up to tear you down? Because I'm noticing a lot that a lot of that in the media. Um, Not saying you per se. I'm talking about just in, in general fair. celebrities, fighters, athletes. I mean, yeah, you know the world move off. They feed off negative energy, like negative shit. Like so, the positive shit they don't really care for. They'll say something about it, but you know what I'm saying like, if it's negative, everybody gonna post it. Like shade rum and all. Everybody love negative negative stuff. So. That's what I think it's really all about. Can't wait to, uh, what was it, April 8th? Yeah, April 8th. Can't wait, man. Yeah. 10 rounds, 12 rounds, what? 10, I think it's 10 as of now, but I wanted it to be 12, just so I can, like, know how I feel when, you know, I get into them championship fights and, and everything like that. And I know Magdaleno, he, a, he was a world uh, champion at one point in time. So, like, I just want that experience, you know, getting them 12 rounds in. So how you gonna don't, don't, how you gonna feel when you become a three time world champion? Twenty six, thirty, and thirty five. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I, I guess whenever the time come, I'll be able to tell you. But right now, I'm just in grind mode, so I don't really see that. Like I don't really pay attention to that. I just need to get to the one world title shot first, and then like after the end of my career, then I can be able to sit back and get comfortable, and then really look back on my career and see how far I came and what I've done, and then I'll be able to answer that. How you feel about the growth from your last performance to where you are today, mentally? What um, you feel that you that, have learned from your last fight? Uh, that I can sit in the pocket. Like I feel like I'm, I'm more mature uh, mentally, and I, I could, I'm more comfortable in the pocket. So uh, I can, um, yeah, like I'm, I'm comfortable in the pocket. I can come uh, roll with shots, come back and counter and things like that. So that's uh, what I learned from my last fight. Well. My opinion, I believe you're gonna be in the uh, superstar in the making. Appreciate you are. That. You work hard. You very talented. I love the way you adapt. Um, mm -hmm. Your inside work is definitely improved. Mm -hmm. um, so God bless you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.